Switching gears now from baseball to the Battle of the Bulge. Diet and exercise are certainly key when it comes to shedding those unwanted pounds. But our next guest says there's one more thing that can help, and it starts right at home. Feng Shui expert Carol Heider is back, and she's here to explain. Hi, Carol. Hi, good morning. Uh, this is, is interesting. We're, we're all willing to try everything, and this is just another layer of, I assume, good diet, good exercise. It doesn't replace all that. It helps it. It supplements okay. good diet and exercise. All right, right. So you've got some tips for us. We're going to start with the first one, which says have a full-length mirror somewhere in your home to get an accurate reflection. Ouch. Yep. The yep. full-length mirror it's, doesn't lie. It's a reality check. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a baseline. In fact, everyone should have a full-length mirror. It isn't just people who are struggling with weight. Everyone should really have a chance to see themselves from head to toe. How come? Well, it just gives you a real accurate look of who you are, basically, mm -hmm. you know, who, who you are and what you look like. And it isn't about judgment. It's really about truth. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we miss that. You know, we see ourselves from the waist up. In the bathroom from, mirror above the right. sink, right. <laughs> yeah. where we always look pretty darn good. We look great there. <laughs> okay, so we need to get that full length mirror. Yeah. Then you want us to put a bowl of fruit on our kitchen counter. Yeah, this is sort of a, you know, this is, this is just a diversion because um, it, what, what, it, what it's saying is, first of all, don't eat the bag of chips sitting there next to it or the Oreo cookies, but instead, here's a message that says you could have some, something more healthy and vital. And, and as we're seeing here, it could be artwork in there. It could yes. Be Maybe you have dishes with fruit on them. They make That's those. Right. That might That's right. trigger that. That's right. Eat healthy, not yeah. the chips. Right, right. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a trick for your brain. Okay, okay. Um, you say eat at the table all the time. They talk about that in a lot of instances. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. why, well, why do you say so? Well, if people aren't eating at the table, what they're doing is they're watching TV or they're on the computer. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we, we use the phrase, watch your weight. So <laughs> you want to watch what you eat as opposed to just not paying attention to it. I even reading while you eat, it can be problematic because you mm -hmm. don't pay attention. You aren't watching Listening it. to music. People do that at their desk in yes. their office. They yes. take a little break mm -hmm. or they're listening to the radio mm -hmm. while they're eating. Mm -hmm. So you're, not, you're really not noticing the intake? That's right. That's right. And that's where it gets out of control. All okay. of a sudden you've eaten the whole thing and you go, what happened? Yeah. And, and, and probably not enjoyed it that much because you weren't <laughs> as aware. Right. Okay. Um, you've got a couple more photos for us. And this is about... Avoiding seeing your kitchen is the first thing when you walk in your house? Yes. We're not going to move, so what are we going to no, do? No, no, of course not. And <clears throat> when you walk in, and this, a lot of apartments and condominiums are set up this way, There's, it's like a Pavlov's uh, a reaction here where immediately you're, you're thinking about food. Yeah. You, you, it, because right there is where it is. And especially if you don't have your bowl of fruit out and you have <laughs> cookies, it's just easy to eat. Mm -hmm. um, I, I say from time to time, try to come in the front door because usually it's the back door that's the culprit. Yes, right off the garage or, or the, whatever yeah, that's right, usually where we're right, That's in. right. Or, or have something else that makes your eye go to the fruit, to artwork, to a rug, to something that your first reaction isn't to food, mm -hmm. isn't to the whole room about food. Yeah, because it is something we're conditioned to. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. All right. Then you say declutter our homes. What kind of clutter are we trying to get rid of? Well, you're putting your home on a diet. You know, you're getting mm. rid of stuff in your home. And it doesn't matter. Just find some place to start decluttering. You know, we all know where that clutter spot is, where stuff mm -hmm. is really gathered. And so it's symbolic. You're getting rid of things that uh, you don't need in your home. You're getting rid of poundage there, weight there. Mm -hmm. And symbolically, that will mirror to you losing weight in your own body. And I know from you, don't have that clutter under your bed. That's don't be hiding that stuff under your bed. She you're told very us. good. That's I perfect. Yes. Nice to see you again. Okay. For more information about Carol or her upcoming seminars, log on to showcaseminnesota.com and click on the Tuesday link.